This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Slel Tishabav, we're trying to feel the loss of the Churban Beis Hamikdash and understand and recognize what our great Avoida is on this day of Tishabav, this day which is a Mayed. It's a Mayed because Rebbein Shalom appointed it as a day of tragedy. The Gemara and Chagiga tells us on Tezvav, a very frightening thing about one of the great Tanoim, Acher. Acher went off and he was riding on a horse on Shabbos. And Acher was a Chacham Atzum. Rameir was following him and Acher says, Mayor, go back. We already got up to the Tchum Shabbos. Ad Kan Tchum Shabbos. So Rameir said to Acher, You also go back, meaning do tshuva. Acher said, I can't. I already told you. I heard from Meachari HaPargod that everyone could do tshuva except for me. And the Gemara talks about the awesome power of Acher in Torah, the prowess of Acher in Torah, to the point where a mayor would follow him and learn from him even though Acher was being Mechal Shabbos. That's how powerful Acher was in Torah. And the Gemara wants to know, so why did Acher go off the Darach? Why didn't his Torah protect him? And the Gemara says, because he sang Greek songs. Zemer Yevani Loi Pasuk Mi Pume. Says Rashi, what's wrong with Greek songs? He shouldn't have done it. Because of the Churban Mesa Mikdash. Reb Chaim Kreisworth points out a frightening idea. You see somebody who goes off the derech, and you wonder... Why did he go off the derech? What was it? Why did he have such a downfall? Bad friends? Bad influences? Internet? Addiction? Why did this person go off the derech? Would anyone in a million years ever say because they didn't mourn the Beis HaMikdash? But says Reb Chaim Kreisworth, we see that Chazal have a different take on things. That the downfall of one of the greatest people of all time came about, not because of a bad influence, or not because of any other external factor, other than the fact that he didn't properly mourn the Chorban. From here we learn that the security of one's Ruchnias is hinged on mourning properly for the Beis HaMikdash. But we know Midah Toivah Merubah, because if somebody could have such a downfall, because of not properly mourning the Chorban, then it must be a person can have an incredible aliyah by mourning properly. And in fact, the Mesil Sisharim quotes Tanad Ve'eliyahu, that any Chacham Yisrael that mourns for the lack of Shechina and the lowering of the covet of Klal Yisrael and the lowering of the covet of Torah will be Zoycha to Ruach HaKoyder. So it comes out that a person's Ruchnius is hinged on mourning the Beis HaMikdash. If one does not mourn properly, their whole Ruchnius is in jeopardy. But if one is able to maximize Tisha B'av for proper mourning of the Beis HaMikdash, they can have a greater aliyah than perhaps any other occasion. May the Rebbe Shalom give us the Atta Deshmaya to be from the Avele Tzion and thereby be Zoichet to see the Nechama HaSirushalayim. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.